All right, let's do this. My first cruise, also my first cruise video. So this is exciting. Um, we are traveling on the Celebrity Eclipse. It's a five-day cruise, and the cost was between six and seven hundred dollars Canadian each. There's two of us going. Um, that includes port taxes. Uh, we did. We ended up upgrading. We originally had a interior cabin, but we upgraded for around one hundred and twenty dollars each for a concierge class balcony room. So the grand total for both of us for the five days was around $1,500 Canadian. Now enjoy this musical number. So boarding was a snap with the with the celebrity app all your safety information muster station stuff is all there um, you can attach your credit card to the app so all your purchases on the ship uh, go directly to it including gratuities like there's no cash on the ship at all um, our rooms were were nice this is uh, it's got two beds a couch a TV the balcony was nice um, I'm glad we upgraded because the sea views were, were quite pleasant, especially when you woke up in the morning or at sunset. Uh, all the regular amenities, robes, uh, there was a mini bar. Um, it was all pricey, except for that bottle of champagne, which was included. But all this was all very pricey stuff. I didn't touch any of it. There's the prices there. Pause the video if you want to see. Um, you know, a safe, just like all hotels. Th these binoculars came in handy. I mean, get a load of this. Look at that. A pod of damn dolphins. I thought that was quite... I was spotting wildlife like David Attenborough. We did see whales too, um, but just them breathing, like their, their blowholes, not, nothing amazing. The bathroom was adequate. Nothing amazing, but it did the job. Our rooms got cleaned about twice a day. Our room attendants were always spot on. They were always out in the hallway doing things and, and bringing us things. I enjoyed these chocolates on the pillow. Now with concierge class, we got some amenities listed there, uh, including the champagne. There, <laughs> there it goes, um, which you know, which was nice. These daily delectable delights, I think they were called. Um, they got delivered to our room once a day. Um, they they weren't amazing. Like sometimes they were questionable. This one I thought was yeah, not not the best one. I think we were actually missing one here. They invited us concierge guests to. Um, a sail away party on the bow of the ship uh, on the helipad that you see here um, and you know that, that that was nice um, it gave some great views um, there was uh, waiters walking around with drinks all complimentary so there's some mimosas I drank my fair share <laughs> um, we also got a great view of the USS Iowa as we sailed away The middle of the ship had this this area here, a beautiful area, the Grand Foyer, I believe it's called. Um, they had these 2D printouts of the ship that showed you where everything is. The casino here, uh, deck four is where the casino was. Um, it was always very busy, doesn't look like it here, but it was. Uh, the Eclipse Theater was on decks four and five. Um, we did see quite a few shows uh, during our voyage, so more on that later. Um, this map was in the reading room, or this globe, and uh, yeah, there's where we're going. Uh, it was nice. It was all decorated for Christmas. Um, the whole area was, was very well put together. The pools, of which there is three. There's two outdoor um, with, with four hot tubs on, on all the ends of the pool. There I am enjoying. Uh, and here's the solarium. It's um, adults only. So no kids allowed. Great place to just hang out. The Sky Lounge was also a nice place that we went to. Um, 
it was on the bow of the ship and had great views of where you were heading. There was also various things going on there, activities uh, like trivia, which of course we, we aced. Um, there was also a hot glass class. Uh, I never did see it. Uh, my mom says that it was it was good. Um, and this, the running track, and if you wanted to keep in shape, the running track is here. They also have a quite an expansive gym. Um, I did manage to get a 5K in to kind of offset the amount of desserts I was eating. There were multiple bars and lounges on the ship. I didn't really partake in the drinking too much. There was a nightclub on deck four. Yeah, as far as drinks go, um, you had to buy a drink package uh, or just buy each drink independently. Uh, I chose to do it independently. The drink packages were, were far too expensive, even though we were traveling on Black Friday and they were way cheaper than they usually are, almost 50% off. If I was gonna go for one, it would have been the classic drink package. Um, but the cheapest beer was $10 Canadian. It was Heineken, 750 US, $10 Canadian. It was 67.20 Canadian per day. I'd have to drink about six and a half beers every single day to get my money's worth. But to make it more ridiculous, each person in your stateroom had to buy the same drink package. So my mom, who hasn't had a drink in like 40 years, would also need to buy the same package. That puts the grand total at 134.40 Canadian. A day, remember that, per day. But we could get even crazier and imagine it wasn't Black Friday. Regular rate, at the regular price of 122.19 Canadian a day for the classic drink package, times two, because we're both in there, $244.38 Canadian per day, I'd be a drinking, I'd be drinking a whopping 24 beers a day to get my money's worth. Yeah, that's a ridiculous number. Uh, there's no way. I would also need to be hospitalized, probably. <laughs> also, I find it slightly ridiculous there's not a single keg of beer on the ship. Like, if I'm paying these absolutely ridiculous prices, I want a, a, a pint of beer on draft. Like, like, forget the bottle of beer nonsense. And now on to the food. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants on board. I think there was over 10. We didn't go to any of them. We went to strictly the complimentary restaurants, which was the buffet and the, the dining room. The Ocean View Cafe, as you see here, this is your main buffet. Uh, breakfast was very run of the mill. They had like an omelet section, your uh, bacon, eggs, sausage, um, you know, pastries. That was, it was basically your run of the mill. Nothing too extravagant for breakfast. Lunch had pizza, it had pasta, there was a Mexican section, there was cold cuts, there was salads. And then dinner, usually they had a stir fry section, you, you know, your, your classic like Sunday roast, like your roast beef, potatoes, veggies, it was fried chicken. Um, and yeah, here's the Mexican section here. Now where, now, where my attention was really pointed at was the dessert section. I have a very large sweet tooth and it was always, my attention was always drawn to the dessert area. I mean, look, look at these donuts. Like they had cheesecakes. I was very, very fond of the cheesecakes while I was on board this ship. Um, and the fact that it was unlimited uh, was very dangerous. I mean, look at these cakes. These cakes are looking pretty good uh, to me. Um, and I certainly did not hold back. They even had, yeah, there's cheesecake right there. Yeah. I love eating and pointing at various desserts. <laughs> they even had this chocolate fondue. Look at this chocolate fountain. Now it was that was a nice surprise. And then a piece of red velvet cake. Yeah, that was my like meal for that day. <laughs> you know, coffee, tea, and um, juices were always available. No, they were available 24 hours. There we go. There's the um, dining room, the Moonlight Sonata. The restaurant or the menu changed every single evening. Um, so there was always some something new. Um, this is escargot. Um, it was delicious. It looks, does not look very good, but looks can be deceiving. It was actually delicious. Um, the French onion soup was also very good. I ordered it multiple times. It was good. That was my mojito. That was my one drink I had on board. Um, there's salmon and beef wellington. All the mains were very good, very good. And of course, my attention, the dessert menu, and you know I had to go, the cheesecake. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. They also have this mass grill. Actually, yeah, this is also complimentary. 
Um, and it's like burgers, fries, and hot dogs. And it was fine. It was fine. This was the coffee shop that they had. And these were all complimentary too. These lemon uh, tartlets, very good. Now, as far as the shows, uh, this actually isn't a show. This is our cruise director, Nate, who had a lot of enthusiasm. But yeah, here's one that we went to. It was kind of like Rock the Ages, like 80s rock. And I thought it was pretty good. The other one uh, right here is, or it was the the, the um, Broadway songs. And that was good too. I thought those both were pretty good. Um, this is Les Green, um, who had, well, it wasn't my type of music. Uh, his stage presence was unmatched. And then this was the original works called Topper, about a hat and magical creatures come out. This one was not very good. I, I was slightly underwhelmed. Though throughout the show they had um, they had various guys doing like high wire acts. I thought that was the coolest part. I, I, I could have seen a show of just that, of people flying around the air doing flips and stuff. Now here is our approach into Cabo San Lucas. There's the famous arch um, that is in a lot of the photographs and postcards and stuff. We had to take another boat, a taxi boat, to get to the harbor, which provided us great views of the actual ship. Like you see these ships, immense size right here. Um, so yeah, great views leaving the ship. Um, once we landed, uh, I immediately went to an OXO and got a much cheaper beer than the ones, like look at this, this was $2.61 Canadian for a beer, which I knew I, I could have a couple here. Uh, we stopped at this place uh, for some tacos of course got to do the tacos while in mexico it was delicious tacos and then we went to this beach here um Badano beach i think it's called there's another great view of the ship um and we just walked along the beach um yeah i was having a good old time i had to go in the water the water here um, i've always considered the water on the caribbean side of mexico to be uh, much nicer you know much clearer much warmer but I won't lie, this was very, very warm. This was like almost as good. I, I've been to Cancun many times and this was very similar to the water they have there. Um, so it was quite nice. And yeah, again, like I said, you know, the ship was right there. On the way back, uh, we saw this absolutely massive seal being fed. Like, look at the size of this thing. They've banned this back home, feeding seals like this, but in Mexico, no such laws exist. <laughs> We ended up uh, just sitting outside the ship trying to get back to the ship. I think there was a medical emergency at this point. So they gave us, uh, we just sat there for about half hour. Just, uh, yeah, I just, but yeah, it's, um, we just were hanging out there. I think it was longer than half hour. It was, and then it was goodbye to Cabo. Then coming into San Diego uh, port, the port of San Diego, we saw the USS Abraham Lincoln, which I thought was pretty cool. Got some great views of it just leaving. We were actually delayed. We had to wait about 45 minutes to an hour for the Abraham Lincoln to leave port before we could come into its spot there. Um, so it was pretty cool to see, to see one of these big aircraft carriers. Fun fact, Top Gun Maverick shot some scenes on the USS Abraham Lincoln. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, in San Diego itself, I didn't do too much. My mom pretty much stayed on board and I did go to the USS Midway Museum, which was right beside the cruise ship. Um, but it was cool. We saw some some planes. Yeah, this is like the internal workings of an engine. Uh, you know, a couple aircraft on, on the deck, like this is a Huey. They're sell you hear the, the gift shop, a lot of Top Gun merch. They're really selling the Top Gun stuff. 
some of it was was quite funny like I like I did like this one like if I was flying goose would still be alive I did like that one <laughs> uh, or the hat the hat up there uh, because I was inverted <laughs> I thought that was pretty good and then the Sun went down as we left and we started our way back to Los Angeles that's pretty much the end of the cruise all right, so what did I think? The Celebrity Eclipse Scorecard, my very first cruise. I enjoyed myself, I will say that. I kind of went in with, um, with like unknown expectations, but I did enjoy myself. It's very relaxing. The food is plentiful, but overall it was good. And, and would I go on another? Yes. If there was a good deal on another cruise? Yes. The condition in the ship, I thought the ship looked pretty good. I know it's kind of an older ship, but uh, Overall, I thought it was it was looking pretty good. Um, there was a few times where we noticed like chairs in the buffet that were kind of looked a little ragged. Um, so there were a few areas where I'm like, okay, that could be replaced by this time. But um, overall, pretty good. Hospitality was great. The the crew I thought was uh, always on top of things. There was a, a few moments we noticed like some dishes sitting on on the tables that hadn't been cleared in quite a while. Like, who knows? That could have been like a staff shortage. That seems to be a thing these days. So who knows what's going on? But um, that was really the only thing we noticed. Food was great. Um, the buffet, for the most part, was was good. There was a couple dishes I had that I thought were weak, but everything else I thought was fine. The, the dining room I thought was great. The, like pretty much everything I had in the dining room was very good drinks five out of ten now this is a little unfair because this this score is because I don't like the way they do the drink package deal I don't like how everyone in the stateroom has to have the same package and it, I think it's too expensive you know so this one's a little uh, unfair but um, it is what it is and entertainment is six out of ten the activities didn't always appeal to me but there was always things to do if that's what you're looking for. you never just walk around the ship and nothing's going on there's always something going on the shows were, were pretty good but not great that's the end of the cruise and the end of the video hey good timing all right goodbye